Alright guys, if Mr. Beast dropping a video every week on his channel isn't enough, it isn't enough, like, he he drops, like, uh, videos every, like, three weeks to a month here, around, so, on, on his uh, main channel here, or his philanthropy, philanthropy channel, which I consider, you know, he has a lot of channels, guys, like, check it out, one, one two, three, four, five, at least five here, guys, I mean, he's got a ton of channels, guys. Oh yeah, his gaming channel even uploads on. Uh, not that much though. But you know, he gets insane views. But that, that's besides the point. We he just uploaded a a video called "We Adopted an Orphanage." So let's check it out, guys. Six months ago, this orphanage in South Africa looked like this. And despite having saved more than five thousand children's lives. It looks base. I mean, um. It's over time. He was about to get shut down. Wait. What? Hearing about. Yo, is that. Are those Minecraft? Is that from Minecraft, guys? It looks like it's from, like, Minecraft. But that, that's a cool uh, shirt, guys. How do I get one? <laughs> this, we made it our mission to ensure this doesn't happen by rebuilding 12 new homes with an ongoing supply of fresh food as well as a brand new playground. This is Mama Rosie, who started the Bavuma Lele Orphanage 30 years ago after a baby was. Yo, if he gets like some game consoles in there and stuff, that would be cool. Her bandit on her doorstep. Mama Rosie is an absolutely incredible person, but as hard as she's fought, as much as she's given, these kids were about to lose the only family, the only place they've ever known as home. To ensure this does not happen, we spent the last six months working tirelessly so that these kids have a safe and. Come here, stop. Back, Mama. Sorry guys, my dog's begging for a uh... clean environment to live in. All right, all right. Let's see how 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 much he renovates it, man. Let's see how much he makes it look cool. Amber, stop. Yeah, okay. Make, making it look basically like a new place, guys. Like, check it out. Was, I don't think it was one story before, or I mean two stories. Done. We all. That was like weeks of work, or at least a, a few days, right? In, in like a, a few, like 30 seconds or something. Also made sure that Mama Rosie had seen none of the renovations before surprising her. This is going to be awesome. Mama oh, snap, Rosie, okay, okay. You promise me you haven't seen anything yet? Yes, I have. So like a home makeover style. Okay, okay. Must have took inspiration from it. I haven't seen anything. Are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. Let's take this. She's ready. She's ready, guys. No. All right, guys. I, I paused it and got my dog because she was begging so much. Yeah, she's so happy. I feel, uh, I feel, uh, I feel, uh, happy for her. Oh my gosh, yo, they made it look so awesome. The paintings do make it, give it that, like, you know, daycare kind of adoption or, or orphanage, uh, vibe. Because, you know, my daycare, they, they had paintings and stuff on there. Before surprising the kids that lived in the orphanage with their brand new home, we had to find someone that Mama Rosie held very dear to her heart. The last time we were here, Mama Rosie told us about a young boy named Yam Kayla who left the orphanage 14 years ago with the dream of becoming a musician. So Darren and Dan, a filmmaker and musician from Cape Town, tracked him down to be a part of the big reveal. They then took Yam Kayla to see his old bedroom that has been completely rebuilt. Damn bro, he grew up in there, that's so cool. I grew up in my house basically all, all my life, except like an, an apartment for a while. After months and months of grueling labor, it was finally time to surprise the kids. 
The kids are all lining up outside right now, and we're about to bring them in and show them their. Guys, who's this? What Mr. Beast usually does these like without the, his team, like without Carl, without Chris. I don't understand why. Brand new homes for the very first time. Yeah, they made it look so good. Televisions. Thank you so much for bringing dignity to these children because it has boosted their self-esteem. They live in a better. It's nice. I guess he didn't want to like you know. Uh, they look a little too young for video games. But that, that was about the age I started um, playing video games, guys. Around five years old is when I started getting into video games. But when I was five, I asked my dad to return my Super Nintendo, guys. A better place. We wanted to find out more about Yom Kela and his life outside the orphanage, as well as offer him the opportunity of a lifetime to inspire orphans all around the world. Oh, come. I want to show you something. <laughs> I kept this all these years. Remember the guitar you used to play on under that tree across the road? Sometimes I even dream about this place. This is where my roots are. In Damn, bro. I, I dream about stuff like that by my daycare as well. Order for Yum Killer. Yo, Jake, thank you for the member. To make a living, he had to become a cleaner at the airport, leaving him hardly any time to practice his music and harness his talent. It, it kills me. Dang, at least he's occupied. That's a good thing, right, guys? Because I'm not occupied. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of occupied now. Me knowing that I'm doing something that I'm not into and there is something that I want to do that I really love but I cannot do it. In Yamkele I see this deep need to want to express himself through the art form of music, yet he doesn't really have any tools to be able to do so. So, we decided to surprise Yom Kayla with a top-of-the-range professional acoustic guitar. But Yo, that's awesome. The best part is we're going to be enrolling Yom Kayla in one of the best music schools in South Africa and paying all his living expenses for the entire year. Oh, snap. There we go. There we go. That's for the win, man. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dude, that's such a blessing, bro. Living expenses for a year. All the music and they're probably gonna give him like some cash on top. You've heard so far in this video has been made in collaboration with Yamkele. <laughs> and while they continue to make music, I want to tell you guys about our incredible long-term partner, the sponsor of this video, Electric E-Bikes. This orphanage build ended up costing a lot more than we thought it was going to, and Electric E-Bikes stepped up to the plate by providing the additional funding to help us finish it. Has never heard of this business. I knew about, know about Bird Scooter. That's about it though. So, if you don't know what electric e-bikes are and what they do, they're on a mission to change people's lives by increasing the mobility while being energy efficient. One example of them doing this is our last video where we gave away a thousand e- Oh, these guys again. ...bikes to people around the world, including Kenya, to help them more efficiently transport water. So do me- Yeah, those are pretty cool. I like those bikes, man. Do me a favor and click the link in the description below and purchase an electric e-bike from them, because by doing that, you'll- Dude, I, if I had money, I totally would. Help them make money so they can continue to support these projects. And it's a beautiful cycle I'd love to keep going. Thank you, Electric E-Bikes, for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it. Mapumelele will continue doing what we are doing, saving lives. Thank you so much. Yo, that's awesome. Shout out Beast Villa and Therapy, man. <laughs> Guys, is it is it bad that I actually want to do something like this if I ever get rich off YouTube? Because I do, man. It is now time for Yamkela to start his musical journey. 
We are so excited to see what he can do and we will keep you constantly updated on his progress throughout the year. See you, Nate. Yeah, yo, that'd be, that's awesome. Yeah. And I want to say a special thank you to Checker6060 for sending motorbikes and a literal truck full of food to the orphanage. Thank you so much. And I also want to shout out Yum Yum, Sunbake, Rama, Do More, and RCL Foods for also committing to feed the orphanage for an additional year. But despite everything we've done, Yo. Mama Rosie and the orphans still need more help. So if you're able, click the link in the description or the donate button below this video and just give whatever you can. And just by watching these videos, you are literally changing lives. So thank you. Subscribe. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty awesome, man. And they still got their old their 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 intro to this. <laughs> you want to give Darren a hug for being as caring as he is? In South African. I can only say thank you so much for doing something in our country. You're re reaching really with your helping hands across the globe. Shout out Mi Beast Philambert Therapy, yo. Yeah, I totally want to try something like this. Well, guys, there's a donate button. I'll link the video in the description. Uh, they already re raised $9,000 in 11 hours, so. Hopefully uh, he gets the rest, and I'll see you guys uh, next video. Peace out.